All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make all types of rotates coming into year seven of Rainbow Six Siege. All right, so for this video, I chose the map of Coastline because it was the first map that came to mind whenever I thought about a map that I could use all sorts of rotates on to give you examples for each. So there are three different types of rotates. There are vaultable rotates. There are rotates that you vault over, right? That's a vaultable rotate. There's crouchable rotates. Rotates that you crouch through. And then there's sprintable rotates. Rotates that you sprint through. And I'm going to teach you how to use all three of these and where to use them. All right, so first up and the most common is a crouchable rotate. Now, why do you wanna make this crouchable and not sprintable, right? You'd think that making it taller so that you can sprint through it would be better because it'll make you faster on the rotate. This is not necessarily true. If you're able to go through the rotate extremely fast, then that means an attacker will be able to go through the rotate extremely fast as well. So you have to pick where you're gonna put these sprinting rotates strategically. So why is this a good example of a crouching rotate? So the reason that you don't wanna make this sprintable is because there's a window right here that attackers like to repel in. Let's say that they smoke this off, they smoke this off, they're throwing flashes at the guy behind a deployable shield right here, and then they repel in. What, they, what you don't want them to be able to do is let's say that they have one guy repelling, they have one guy planting. This guy that repels in is covering the guy that's planting. And what he can do is just sprint through the rotate and kill anybody here, right? You don't want them to be able to do that. You want them to have to sprint, crouch, and then peek you. Now, by the time that, let's say you have a smoke player like me playing right here, by the time you hear them repel in, you have only a few seconds to react whenever you hear them run across here. What crouching does, is it slows them down, right? If you crouch, you move a lot slower than when you're sprinting. And crouching makes noise. So if you hear someone sprinting and then immediately crouch, not only is it slowing them down, but it's making a lot of noise for them. So then I have time to sit here and react and kill them if they're trying to push me, right? If I had a sprintable rotate here, they'd be immediately able to just sprint through here and kill me without me really having any reaction time to do so. So that is a great example of a crouching rotate and why you should place it. Really quick before I continue, I just wanna say that over 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. I post informational Siege content every Tuesday and Friday. So if you wanna get better at the game, hit that sub button below. Okay, now let's talk about sprinting rotates. These are rotates obviously that you sprint through, but these are arguably the most dangerous rotates to have because like I said, attackers can use them as well. So you have to put these in very strategic places that you know only defenders are going to be able to get to. Kitchen is a great example. There's not really any entry points that they can come into to use this rotate if they haven't already A won the round or B killed everybody in sight. If they've already killed everybody in sight, if they already have most of sight control, then the size of the rotate doesn't fucking matter because they already have the sight, right? But making the sprintables extremely good because A, Let's say that I'm playing behind the bomb here, behind a deployable shield here, whatever, and I'm contesting this. If I hear somebody sledge above me, which they're going to do, it's extremely common. Let's say they open holes right here. They're able to see my feet really well and I'm barely able to see them. That's a really common sledge spot that I like to use even too. Um, and having a sprintable rotate right here makes it a lot easier for me to go from uncrouched to all the way onto here, right? If this is a crouched rotate, I have to sit here and crouch through the rotate, which is a lot slower than being able to just sprint through the rotate, right? If he sledges this and he's looking through it immediately and I try to crouch through this rotate, I'm most likely going to take damage, even die, right? I catch a lot of motherfuckers lacking on this goddamn rotate whenever I play sledge above there and they try to rotate out. I just shoot their feet and kill them a lot of the times. Um, but if this is sprintable, I don't find myself killing them ever because they're able to just leave a lot faster. Now, like I said, there are cons to having a sprintable rotate, right? Let's say that they have an entry point, common attacker entry point, right next to sprintable rotate. Let's say they get the door open, right? Let's say all of this is broken just to make it a little bit easier for me to hop onto this desk. So, you, have been you know, they can test guys here. Maybe they kill somebody and they find it easy for them to just come into here. And they want to take bathroom control. Bathroom control is extremely, extremely important, especially on the site. So if you have an attacker that's able to just hop through desk and sprint through this rotate and take bathroom control extremely quickly, that is very, 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 very powerful. What you'd want to do for this is make it a vaultable rotate, right? So not only do they have to vault over this, they have to also drop down 
and then they have to vault over this, which gets them locked into an animation. It slows them down heavily and makes a lot of noise, and it's definitely not as fast as making a sprint to rotate. So you can have people who are sitting triple wall, sitting wine, whatever you call it, sitting reception. You can even have people on this rotate, right? But because it locks them in that animation for so long of them just vaulting, that people like right here can just shoot you in the back while you're vaulting over this rotate and you can't do anything about it. So that's why not putting a principal rotate here is extremely, extremely important. Now I'm going to talk about uh, the arguably hardest rotate to learn how to use properly, and that's the vaultable rotate. It's just a rotate that you vault over. Um, and the reason that you'd want to use a vaultable rotate over anything else is because, is because you either A, want to slow them down, B, you want to use this bottom part as, let's say, cover, so you don't want to break it, you just want to have wood here if you have a guy playing, you know, in hookah. Or C, you want to be able to shoot them while they're going through this animation like I told you about downstairs. So why is putting this vaultable rotate right here good? So a lot of times you'll have players that are playing in areas where their feet can be shot if they have a regular rotate. If I were to break these two walls, which I'm not going to do, um, they'd be able to shoot my feet a lot easier. They'd be able to drone me a lot easier if I didn't have a vaulting rotate. This vaulting rotate also makes it to where drones have to jump over it, right? That makes a lot more noise. It's a lot slower for the drone, so I'll be able to shoot it a lot easier. But it also makes it to where if they take Kuka control, which nine times out of ten, if they're good, you know, they have a Flores, they get my deploy with shield, they kill the guy cool vibes, they're going to take Kuka control, right? This makes it to where if they come up to here, they have to vault through this rotate, and anybody Aqua, anybody Billiards, anybody 90 if they open up this wall, which hopefully they don't, anybody sitting behind bar, they can all easily, easily shoot them. But nine times out of 10, especially on this site, the vaultable rotates actually for defenders. Let me explain why. So let's say that I have a guy sitting in hookah, I'm playing here, and let's say they're pushing me really heavily from here and from here, and I know that they're here, but I also know that they're in Aqua, and I want to contest it. What you can do with vaultable rotates is you can use them more for like quick peeking, right? So let's say I smoke this guy off, and I sit here and I quick peek, right? With a crouchable rotate, quick peeking is a lot harder because you expose the bottom half of your body uh, a lot more visibly than you would do if you're quick peeking with just your head. Like even on the door frame, if I'm quick peeking with my head, they can still see a large portion of my body and know that I'm there. But if I'm quick peeking with just my head, even if I'm crouched, they can only see my head, right? And then also, if you're not making it sprintable, there's a lot more, you know, there's a soft layer of wood right here that adds a little bit more protection for the player playing inside of here from, let's say, somebody on this window, somebody who opens up this wall, somebody who's playing in Aqua, right? What this allows me to do is be able to peek onto the guys in Aqua without exposing myself to nearly as many angles. So let's say I open this up. Now, if I want to peek this, I'm exposing myself to a lot more things. Like I'd be exposing myself to anybody here. I'd be exposing myself to anybody on the window. I'd be exposing myself to anybody on this door. But having this little layer of wood right here allows me to go through every single angle one at a time. Let's say I, I check here, I check here, I check here, and then I check here. With this big of a rotate, if I want to contest anybody aqua, I have to swing all three of these angles. But if I have this wooden thing right here, I can check one angle at a time because this thing isn't open. Now, you can argue that I can do that just by playing right here. But if I'm playing right here, it's a lot slower because then I also have to check this angle. And I'm just more exposed if I want to further contest the store away from people who are playing right here. So, vaultable rotates are really good for blocking attacker line of sight for anybody, let's say, crouching. Let's say you have a guy prone. Let's say you have a guy on this wall that needs this part of the soft wall right here um, but it also slows attackers down so it's really 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 finicky but you can also put it in a lot more places than sprinting rotates because again it slows attackers down with all that out the way that's going to be pretty much it for the video don't forget to sub like the video if you like it dislike the video if you dislike it it's alka and i'll see you in the next one